my kitchen. You guys, we are going to make this Eagle brand sweetened condensed milk pound cake. I am so excited to finally fix this cake. So Cynthia, I certainly hope that you enjoy this. So we're going to be using, I think that's what makes it so interesting, this cake. Of course, I've never made it. But the fact that we're going to be using some condensed milk, I mean, that's straight milk and sugar. So this is going to be really interesting, okay? But I'm going to start by using my three cups of Swan's Down cake flour. And then I also have half teaspoon of baking powder. And then I want to add some vanilla jello pudding. And this is a small 3.4 ounce box. I want to add that to my cake. Now what I usually do is if I have a request for a recipe or if there's one I want to try, I'll look it up to see if there's one out there. And then once I find one that I kind of like, I'll find something to change to kind of put my little twist on it, if you will. You know, tweak it to kind of make it like like I want to make it, okay? I never ever duplicate anybody's recipe. So I'm gonna add this. So I have the Jello pudding, the baking powder, and the three cups of Swan's Down. All of that is here. Now once I added these two ingredients, I sifted it one more time and everything is here. Now Swan's Down, when you purchase this cake flour in the store, it comes pre sift it for you already in the box so you really don't have to sift it it's just something that I'm used to doing so I always do that when I'm adding you can take a little whisk and just you know stir it around really good if you want all right now again we're going to be using this 14 ounce can of Eagle brand sweetened condensed milk and because this is milk and sugar, like I've said, I'm only going to use two and a half cups of sugar. You could probably do two, but honey, I be liking stuff sweet, real sweet. So I'm going to do two and a half as opposed to two cups, all right? But again, feel free to do the two cups if you don't have that sweet tooth like me. And then today I'm going to use six eggs. These are six large eggs. They are room temperature. And as you see, I've already cracked them. And today we're going to be using a whole pound of butter. This is unsalted butter. I'm using four sticks, which equals one pound. It is also room temperature. Um, I had a subscriber ask me about my butter and what kind of butter do I use. Honey, I use whatever is on sale. It really doesn't matter to me. I've not been able to tell a difference in the butter. Um, so I use Land Lakes. I use Sam's brand. I use Walmart brand. To me, I've not been able to tell a difference. So that's what I do. Okay. Um, for my flavoring, I'm going to do a little bit of this baking vanilla. I'm also going to add maybe about a half teaspoon of this almond extract. I don't use almond too much, but I think I want to add just a little bit today. And then, y'all, I have been neglecting my cream bouquet. So we're going to add some cream bouquet as well today, maybe about a teaspoon. As I say, it tastes like bakery in a bottle. That's all I can say. I love the way it enhances my cakes. Some people don't care for it, but you all know, like I say, it's your cake. Whatever you like. If you don't like cream bouquet, you can omit that. As a matter of fact, you can omit any of these uh, extracts that you don't want to use, honey. If you want to add some coconut and leave that out or add coconut in addition, do what you want to do. Okay? Now, let's see. Is that it? Oh, I also have one fourth teaspoon of salt here. And I'm going to add the salt in the beginning when I add, you know, when I do my butter. Okay? Now, of course, I have thoroughly washed my hands. Y'all, don't be in the kitchen with nasty hands because that's just nasty. 
I'm going to turn on my oven so that it will preheat to 325 degrees. And I'm going to start by adding my four sticks of unsalted butter to my mixing bowl. And you guys, I've been trying to get all of my butter that I have paid for off of that little wrapper. Okay, now I'm going to bring you guys on over here in just a second. I don't know why I decided to keep do, going and do it different today, but this is what we're going to do. So we're just adding our butter. And because I'm using a pound of butter today, I'm going to whip this butter by itself for at least a good minute or two. Okay. Well, at least the butter and the salt and the extracts. And you all, I always use butter. I never, ever, ever use margarine. I never substitute. <clears throat> Excuse me. I never substitute my butter for margarine, okay? On a nut like butter. Nothing at all like butter. And I think this is a vintage recipe too. This Eagle Brand pound cake, although I've never tried it, it's definitely, in my opinion, in the vintage category. All right? So now we have all of the butter added. Oh, and before I forget, when I picked up my cloth, it reminded me. You all, wash off the cans. These cans are extremely nasty. I've already, I have my Dawn Power Wash that I sprayed on the top, and I washed it down really good, okay? Y'all wipe down your cans. They are nasty. They've been in the warehouses and on the back of trucks and in the grocery stores, so wash them, okay? Now to my butter, I'm going to go on and add this 1 4 teaspoon of salt. I'm going to add all of my flavorings. Now this is my cream bouquet. I'm going to add just maybe about a half teaspoon of it. And I never measure, I don't, I don't usually use my measuring spoons for my extracts. I just pour honey until I feel like it's time to stop. Here's a little bit of my baking vanilla. And then I'm going to do about, like I said, about half a teaspoon of this almond extract. Okay. Okay. So, like I said, when I turn on the mixer, I'm going to mix this butter the salt, and the extracts. I'm going to mix those all up together for about at least a good minute because I really want to whip that butter, especially since I'm using four, a whole pound today, so four sticks. And then once I do that, you're going to see me slowly start adding this sugar, okay? Now once I slowly add the sugar and I get it all in, I'm going to set me a timer because I want to cream that butter and sugar for at least about 12 minutes. And you'll notice as you're creaming that it's going to collect on the sides of the bowl. So you need to stop your mixer. If you don't have a scraper that's built into your mixer, stop your mixer so you can scrape down the sides of your bowl. Okay? And I'll do that a couple of times. But once we get it whipped really good and cream that butter and sugar, I'm going to stop the mixer and come back. That way you will see exactly what light and fluffy looks like. And you can't rush this process. It will definitely affect your cake. It can make your cake fall. Um, it can make it even more dense. It can make it gummy. Now one thing about this cake, it is a denser cake. It's very dense, you know, with the, the extra butter and then you've got the 
sweetened condensed milk so it's it's denser I think than your normal pound cake but I think all pound cakes have some density to them that's what I like about a pound cake so again take your time don't rush this process like I said when I finished adding that little bit of um, or adding my two and a half cups of sugar that's when I set my timer for 12 minutes okay and once you set your timer go do something else while this is creaming and then you won't feel like it's taking so long okay all right so once again once we get this done we're going to stop the mixer and then I'll come back so you can see light and fluffy have arrived to light and fluffy. That's exactly what you should be looking like. Okay. So now that we've creamed our butter and sugar, I'm going to start adding my eggs. I'm going to add them one at a time and I mix maybe about 10 or 12 seconds just long enough for the yolk to disappear okay so it doesn't take long to add the eggs and sometimes when you're adding an egg two eggs jump in if that happens no worries just mix a few seconds longer because now you're incorporating two eggs as opposed to one now after we get the eggs added, we're going to start adding our dry and our wet ingredients and we're going to alternate, okay? You always want to start with your dry ingredients, which is your flour. In this case, it's the flour, it's the baking powder and the jello pudding. Start with dry, end with the dry. Now this part of the mixing process does not take nearly as long when you start adding this flour. It doesn't take nearly as long as the creaming of the butter and the sugar. Once I start adding my flour, or right before I start adding it, you're going to notice that I'm going to turn my mixer down. I usually turn this mixer down to about two because you want to mix the flour and the liquid on low. You're not trying to get the batter silky smooth, okay? This literally only takes a couple of minutes. So don't over mix because the same outcome applies. You can really mess up your cake if you over mix, okay? So we're going to start with the eggs and we're going to mix in our flour and milk and then we're going to be ready to get this cake poured and baked.
hands. Make sure when you're mixing that you stop a couple of times and scrape down your bowl. And I'm just going to mix just a little bit more by hand to make sure everything is totally mixed in well. my cake pan with Baker's Joy. Let's see, can you see that? Let you down just a, just a tad bit more. I think I want me a little batter today. A little bit more batter. <laughs> do y'all eat cake batter? My new subscribers, do you all eat cake batter? And by the way, if you are new, welcome. We are so glad you are part of our YouTube family. Okay, so now I'm just trying to smooth the batter out and get it level so we won't have a wop-sided cake. Just making a mess. Now we're going to shake and I'm hitting it under the bottom to release air bubbles okay we're going in the oven on 325 degrees I bake my cakes on the middle rack in my oven so what I do or in the middle of my oven so I just take a rack out and adjust it to where it's in the middle of the oven and that's where I bake my cakes I'm going to set my timer for about an hour and 15 minutes. This may take a little bit longer since it's a pound of butter. So, if I need more time after an hour and 15 minutes, I'll just add a little bit more time. You guys, we've been baking for an hour and 35 minutes. I think my oven trying to start tripping and I even put a piece of aluminum foil over the top of it because I didn't want it to brown too much. But anywho, we're going to sit here and cool for at least 10 minutes before we flip. And while the cake is cooling, we're going to make a really quick glaze. We're going to do a cream cheese glaze on today. And I'm going to use, used, I'm going to use um, about two ounces of this cream cheese. And it has been sitting out, getting room temperature. And I like to kind of just smush up the cream cheese a little bit before I add my other ingredients, okay? And to that, I'm going to add maybe about uh, one and a half to two cups of powdered sugar. And I usually don't measure you guys. I just pour 
and mix. And to that, we're going to add some uh, vanilla. Just a little bit of vanilla, maybe about a teaspoon of vanilla. And then our cream bouquet. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. And now we're ready to add our milk. Milk. Be careful when you're adding your milk. Don't add too much at one time, okay? You want to add just a little bit. And I like to have mine really thick in the beginning. That way it helps me get my glaze smooth. And see, just like now, I like mine thicker than this. So technically, I added too much milk. You see how loose that is? Put this up because I won't need any more. But if that happens to you, just add a little more powdered sugar. to compensate for adding too much milk. I think I got a little heavy handed since this milk is kind of full. But it's just that easy. It's not a problem at all. You just add more powdered sugar. You see how that's thickening up? And then with it being thick, it allows me to really, makes it easier to get it smooth. So then we whip, 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 whip. It's a great arm workout. I never, ever, Use a mixer. And I always do this by hand. And just that quick, we have a cream, smooth and creamy cream cheese glaze. Easy. Easy, you guys. Okay. All right, so we're going to let the cake continue to cool. And then we will uh, flip it, and then we'll be ready to glaze. All right, we are flipping. Then we will continue to cool for a while longer. That's hot, y'all. <laughs> okay, so we'll cool for a while longer until we are ready to glaze. I declare it seemed like it took forever to bake. I'm looking for my um y'all know how when you be on Facebook or social media, you know how you can be talking about something and all of a sudden on your Facebook page you start seeing ads about what you was talking about like Google is listening in on your conversation. Well, honey, I want somebody listening on my conversation because uh, if somebody wants to sponsor me, uh, Kim Moore or Whirlpool or GE with appliances, help yourself. I, as a matter of fact, I want my whole kitchen redone. So if y'all eavesdropping and listening to me, uh, Shoot me an email. Send me an email about wanting to sponsor me to get my kitchen redone. How about that? I need to keep talking about that in my videos. And one of these days, I'm going to tell y'all, y'all, somebody can really pay for my kitchen. Anyway, we're going to let this cake cool before we flip it. And, um, oh, girl, don't be messing up the cake, child. Listen. We'll let it cool for a while, and then we'll glaze it. just barely warm. Eagle brand sweetened condensed milk pound cake 
with a heavy cream cheese glaze and all of the extra glaze is of course down in the hole. It is time. Let's see. Official measurement size of mine. Oh, you gonna measure it? That's, That's right. I'm gonna measure have... mine. Yeah, I think you took me off by ten, well, two eighths of an inch. And that, no, I'm not doing that. I want every bit of piece of mine. Ooh, that texture is pretty. Look, y'all. If you don't go on some of that dog gonna measure gotta... tape, making me hit the camera. Look at that. I want every single measurement of my piece. Sir, why is you doing the most? I'm letting y'all down a little bit. Why are you doing the most? Here, let's get our piece. We just stop. <laughs> you don't put the little nasty ruler. I think I'm off a few millimeters. I'm off. I gotta wash my hands. I gotta wash my nasty sure hands. Do, honey. I gotta wash my nasty hands. Nasty hands. Talk about my nasty hands. You wanna talk about me, Donica? All right. All right. I'm just washing my hands and I'm just leaving you. I'm gonna get in here. I'm gonna send that real bad, but I ain't gonna tell you, Donna. <laughs> I can't get mad. Take your glasses off and I'll get mad because I'll protect you. <laughs> hey, I don't know about now. It's my back corner. You always grab that piece. Don't miss the Why don't you grab the little small piece? What kind is it? Let me ask. Run my cake. Okay. Don't you let her warm my cake? Oh. I'm telling you, it's just. That's a grandma cake. We're well, still warm under the bottom. What's the name of it? Grandma cake? It's an Eagle brand sweetened condensed milk cake. You remember this? You remember these cans of milk? This is an Eagle brand, but you remember how they had a sweet and condensed milk? Oh, well, right, it's like, it's my pet. I guess they do have a pet brand. That's what we had, pet. That was a, and it's just milk and sugar in that can. That's why I said sweet and condensed milk. We just had to put it in a thing of water made milk so we can eat cereal. Just... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Babe, you can move to the right. Mm -hmm. To the right. 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 This is ice cream pound cake right here. It's what? Ice cream pound cake. Meaning you need to have ice cream with it? Yeah, and you took that big hunk out the bag. No, 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 look at it. it. Look like it was in an accident. Well, you just eat the whole cake. <laughs> Y'all, that's different. Okay. When I put the recipe in the description box, do the two cups of sugar. You know, I be liking stuff real sweet, so do the two cups of sugar. And like I say, I think my oven is acting a little, a little suspect, because it did. It took me, what I say, an hour and 35 minutes? 20, 30, 30, 30, 30. Yeah, an hour and 35 minutes to bake. So, 
it's going to depend on your oven how it bakes usually cake tester to test it and like I said I covered it up with that aluminum foil because I didn't want it to get too too dark and it not be done well I will say this guys the record the robber recommended size is three inches your first slice has to be a minimum of three inches so you, you can you can taste the explosion of flavors to the tongue so I'm, I'm just saying you outside of three inches all you're gonna taste is um you, you're not going to get the full taste of it. So, um, I think with the ingredients, the first three inches are non, non-fattening. You, you're not going to put on so no pounds. So that first slice you won't put on pounds. First, pound, first slice you will not put on any pounds. Women, a minimum of three inches. Men, what do you mean women? Men, a maximum of eight. Oh. So, that... I was gonna say, saying it like a man nope. can't gain weight. Y'all nope. can gain weight too. Men don't gain weight. Y'all do. Y'all act like we care. You should. Why? Girl, I already got you in there with you. I don't care nothing about trying to grow you. Let it go and let it flow. I'm just saying. That's my that's my happiness. <laughs> Love and happiness. <laughs> You was greedy. I listen. I can't eat all that cake. Okay, you guys. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this recipe, especially you, Cynthia. <laughs> Women, according to the ingredients, you don't the, even know what the ingredients are. The first slice, three inches, no fat, no fat. You got a on your face. Yeah, I got shave. Look at you. That looks sexy. I don't See that in this gray? Do it look sexy? Oh yes. Let it grow, grow, grow. You need to let that grow. I'm trying to push it out. <laughs> it is. I love it. Stop when you be the. I'm trying to make grow, grow. The blood belt. I'm trying to make grow. Stop cutting it and it will grow. Oh, I like that. Honey. Okay. Anyway, listen. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Man. If you've not subscribed, please consider doing so. Maximum eight inches, no fat, guaranteed. You turn on the notification bell, and when you does, it shakes, and that's that shake something, shake something, shake something. He calls it hitting them. Hitting the nosy. Because he said y'all nosy, y'all be wanting to know what we doing over here, what he doing over here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you pick up a pound for me, this you let me know. I'll fix that. Thank you guys so much for watching. We already look forward to you joining us again next time. Bye. Did any grow? Stop for you get a headache. Did any grow, babe? No. Just one right there, one right there. Oh, I feel so great.